Well, the healthy Huskies at Horace May Elementary in Bemidji are keeping it moving by walking and running. For this week's Golden Apple, Haiti Clotter shows us how students are living healthier lifestyles and accomplishing their goals. It may be foggy outside, but at Horace May Elementary in Bemidji, students are still active. Before the start of the school day, students walk or run on the playground and get moving as healthy Huskies. It's uh, good to goal set. It's uh, builds a little bit of community and kids celebrate together. Students earn walking sticks after each lap and finish in about 30 minutes. Fifth grader Addison Mesh has already set goals for herself this year. I'm going to try to get to 100 to get better at stuff. Abraham Bratlin is an alumnus of the Healthy Huskies and in three years accumulated more than 200 miles. You can really benefit from it just to be healthy and kind of, kind of to get fit and probably in the morning for some kids just to get their energy out. Kids are excited about the Healthy Huskies. Last year 140 kids completed the 25 miles and 10 kids reached the 100 mile milestone. After 25 miles, students earn a t-shirt at 50 miles a golden pencil. Next, you join the 75 mile club with the wristband and at 100 miles, you earn a gold medal. Matthew Hack is 50 miles in and Healthy Huskies helps him with other activities. It gives me more energy for my sports. Like what sports that you play? Mm, soccer, basketball, football sometimes. The class with the most completed miles gets bragging rights by having the golden shoe in their classroom. The outdoor day participation is optional. We went around the track and we got sticks and then once we, once we each got 12, we got to um, trade it in for a colored stick, which is a mile. Healthy Huskies builds healthy habits for students and teaches them that goals can be within reach. For this week's Golden Apple in Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.